Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I will be showing you the three best decks you can use in the 7x Elixir challenge to get the 12 wins and get as many rewards as you can. So the third one is the most special one. It is actually the troll deck that you have seen in the intro. The whole purpose of that deck is to three crown your opponent without damaging um, the two princess towers just by rocketing and using goblin barrels to kill the um the king's tower um but however we're first gonna show you two very viable decks um the first one which you're seeing right now it has poison it has mirror and it has the elixir golem with of course the firecracker in this deck it is very very it is a lot better if you have the evolved firecracker however it doesn't matter if you don't you're just at a bit of a disadvantage against those who actually do have her because if you can keep her alive for a longer time since you're going to be spamming firecrackers and every other single card if every third firecracker is an evolved one you're gonna get so much value out of them because of the extra damage the extra health and everything however look at this the whole um the whole skill set you need in these kind of decks is just spamming your opponent as fast as you can uh, you can see that we're just playing every single card playing all the cards behind the elixir golems and then we're using our poison and our mirror poison um, to kill every single uh, musketeer he places down and also harm the um the towers one of the main sources of damages from from this deck when they're defending everything successfully is of course that poison um to hit the towers and to hit uh, to kill all the defending units but you can see that it is just a never ending spam um, and we take the three crowns in like a minute and a half so now we're in the second game you you have to know that all these games are going to end extremely quickly and all of them are going to end with a three crown unless you guys are perf perfectly matched up um, you can see that here we're going to an electro giant um, again the same the same thing come those are the same skill set you will need is just poisoning um, his defending units and poisoning the towers as well and just defending with as much of a spam as you can with the different um, cards that you have at hand such as the electro dragon uh, of course the poison battle healer the night witch the firecracker the elixir golem everything and the only thing you need to keep in mind is what to mirror what to poison and honestly that's it just keep playing cards since you're never going to run out of elixir or never be low on elixir in this uh, kind of situation so you can see we're getting so much poison value into absolutely everything and we're just by keeping our firecrackers alive keeping our e golems going and raging them up when they get to the tower and just poisoning everything we're getting so much value here you can see a poison plus a double poison is actually around 500 600 damage to a tower and if you're killing units with it then it gives you so much value for it and we're keeping the pressure oh he cannot do anything so he drops out the gate the good game we drop out the good game that's tag that's game two so now we're going to jump into the second deck this is a i think this is a better deck i like it more because it's more defensive you have the giant skeleton you have the executioner you have the bowler and you have the tornado to combine all of it and uh, put all of your opponent's units together and kill them very well he has a a very good rocket there to kill both of my executioners however we were able to cycle back to them extremely quickly and you can see that his parkies are going to instantly die to our giant skeleton bombs uh, combined with our bowler and executioner damage on the left side meanwhile you can see that we're starting to deal a lot of damage with our um, goblin drills which are essential in this deck you can spam them so much with goblin drills and you can see that this deck also has of course the mirror Whenever he rockets, we're just gonna... Well, you can see the, the damage that the Goblin Builder is already doing. His tower is at 1,300. Um, we even activated his King Tower because we don't care at this point. Um, uh, he has um, uh, uh, a Dark Goblin and all of the rest of the cards are pretty heavy cards. And we're just gonna focus on killing everything, spreading our Executioners away so that he cannot rocket them again. Um, and then just keeping them alive with the Giant Skeleton in front. And just keep the Goblin Drills going around um again the <laughs> same principle you just have to spam everything that you have but i have found a lot of success with this deck i think it's the best one um you can use i think it's the safest one because it's better against a, a wider variety of decks the other one can get countered pretty easy by for example the deck we're facing with a pekka and sparky that can shred um your elixir golems however this one since you have so much pressure and you have the additional um, win condition in the goblin drill which is just unstoppable especially in this kind of game where everyone's playing is playing 
very expensive cards and just focusing on offense, I think this deck is amazing and will for sure get you to the 12 wins. Um, so this is a game three. We actually won it again. We're going to play a second game with this deck as well. And we have the perfect matchup. It's against someone who is using every single hot in the game. Um, so he's going to start with the Barb Hut. We're going to poison it and Goblin Drill. He mirrors the Barb Hut, of course. But you know what the perfect card is against huts? Well, of course, the Executioner and the Mirrored Bowler. Um, so we're going to go with arrows over here and an Executioner on the left side. We're just going to poison every hot that we can while we can... While we are still goblin drilling his his towers, he goes with the triple musketeer, which is a pretty weird card. But you can see that his side of the arena is almost full. Um, I don't think he can fit more buildings over there. But look at the the damage our goblin drill has already done, and those bowlers are just gonna get to the tower. The poison is hurting the tower, and that's the first tower already in like forty seconds. Uh, look at that three musketeers on the right side. They're just gonna get demolished by the bowler, and we're gonna double bowler on the right side. We have a double execution on the left side. And look at all the spam coming from his um, hots. We're going to tornado those three musketeers and look how little they last. They're already dead. He drops a mirror through musketeers. We just arrow them um, and then bowler in front. And this should be game. It's actually unstoppable. This deck is amazing. My recommendation from the three decks would be for you to play this one. However, if you want to have a bit more fun, you can play the next one I'm going to show you. It leads to way faster wins. Okay, so this deck basically consists of first rocketing your opponent, mirror rocketing, then going for a poison or something else, goblin barrel, whenever you're low you just elixir golem or what just to cycle them and you keep repeating this rocket, mirror rocket, poison or fireball, um, goblin barrel and then an elixir golem or poison to defend whatever you prefer, then another rocket, another <laughs> mirror rocket and you just know that spam. Meanwhile push is going to start building up on the left side from their part and you have the perfect two spells to stop them. First one is the rocket where you can actually melt everything they're actually doing. Second one is the elixir golem to distract them to the back. And the third one is this freeze because look how long it lasts. Oh, and that's just beautiful. Look at all their troops and we can just finish the game without damaging the other towers. Okay, and now the second game to show you that this actually works against different, different decks. Um, we're gonna do the same tactic. Look, this time we actually get a Sparky with the first rocket, and then I think we get some bats with the second rocket. So that's so much value. That's honestly beautiful because he, he actually gave us so much value, and at this point, I don't think there's anything that he can do. We're just gonna keep rocketing, rocketing, goblin barrel, and everything over here. And you're gonna see here that we actually use a defensive rocket because he just starts building a lot of stuff and a very big push, which we don't really want. So look at we place a <laughs> a tornado a tornado sorry a rocket and everything is just gone we're gonna keep rocketing goblin barrel and mirror rocketing and this game should be over in just a couple seconds um i think just one more spell cycle and we should be there yeah so there goes the first rocket and then the second rocket just remember to never be leaking elixir here and always be playing cards um i think this is one of the lowest skill um game modes in the game uh, but here, we're going to give you an extra game with this deck just to show you what it's capable of um, or what it can lead to as well. <laughs> so just to see that this one, although it's the most fun one, it's not the most reliable one. Um, but yeah, so my recommendation would be to play the second one. Always play in the same lane. Uh, well, always play splitting the lane, so pushing both lanes at the same time or defending both lanes at the same time. Using your giant skeleton's respect like uh, with like being smart. Um, and using your executioners as well, your tornadoes to push everything together um, to the bums or to the executioners. But yeah, if you like this video and if it helped you, please like, leave a comment with anything you want to watch and subscribe because it helps us a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.